Hey everybody, welcome back to Lloyd's Comics Collect. Well, sorry, I've been gone for a, a while to say the least, but back now with some new unboxings and reviews. And this week we're going to check out the uh, 7 inch Predator figure that was a Walmart exclusive. Uh, so there's the box, it's got some real nice art on it. Like, I'm not a mint in box guy, but when they do a good job on this stuff, there's an argument to be made for keeping it in the box. So let's go ahead and get into it with some treacherous tape on both sides, but that's okay. We don't have to save the box. There we go. Good lord, they really take this bad boy up. They don't want nobody walking off with it. We will. Slide them out. As soon as that's done, go over to the, the fig cam. Hey everybody, okay, we're back with the camera, the uh, figure camera. So uh, we'll start with the head. As you can see, it's got lots of really nice sculpted detail on the helmet. I like the copper color, and I really like the, uh, you can see it there, the laser sight in the side of the helmet. Also, like, and I don't know if this is done intentionally or if this is just how mine was colored. You can sort of see the dark veins in the copper. It sort of gives the helmet a bit of texture. Another thing I like is uh, this is based off of Berserker, who was from the Predators movie. I like the alien jawbone here. It's in this yellowish brown color. Well, we flip him over on the back and. You got a little bit of green skin poking out there. I think that's kind of cool since the helmet sort of sits on the face. And the typical Predator dreadlocks molded in a softer black plastic. The beads unfortunately aren't colored, but uh, that is something that sort of becomes more of a thing as we look through this figure in odd places. But we'll go over that as we get to it. Uh, <clears throat> just underneath the neck there. He's got a little bit of a, a black collar. I'm not sure what that's for. Some of you Predator guys might know. But he's got this really cool copper colored armor that has lots of really nice detail with like plates and connection points and goodness knows what else. He comes with the plasma caster on the shoulder. Sort of stereotypical Predator shoulder mounted weapon. And it's got lots of really neat detail. It's on a ball joint, so you can move it side to side. It's a little bit limited by his dreadlocks, of course, but that's to be expected to something with long hair. Then he's got these black straps across the uh, abs there to another sort of gut plate. I don't know what you call that. One thing I noticed here, and it sort of irks me a little bit, is there's a strap that goes around the side here that you can see now. And it's not painted at all and usually you know like if this was a take off piece you sort of understand why like most of it's done in one color it's just easier to mold things in one color but it's kind of odd that this is part of the chest mold and they just didn't color the that strap also you'll notice that here on the back I'm pretty sure right there if you can see it it's not quite as noticeable as it is in person. I don't think that's part of the skin. I think that's another bit of armor plating right there that should be a different color. But uh, again, details. I really like this this spiny bit of detail here that goes up to the plasma caster. I think that's cool. Another thing I really like, and you can see it, the, the skin's not just smooth. It has wrinkles and modeling and all sorts of different scales if that's showing up on the camera a little bit better so I like the color but I like that the only that the, they did more things to give the skin detail than just have green skin and paint because these darker scales and red scales here I don't believe are modeled on they're just paint but I think it's cool to have different bits of texture <laughs> unfortunately the shoulder pads don't move they're molded on there but um, as we go over to the arm, we see still some of that really cool skin molding. And he's got these pretty awesome looking sci-fi gauntlets in the same 
copper color. Sorry I'm not a bit more descriptive, but these literally have so many bits and bobs and details. We'd be here forever, but as you can notice, here yet again, that bottom strap's painted, and that top one's not. And I'm assuming that scaling there says arm that's not like a, a arm sock or something, but it's, it's just really weird to me because it doesn't look like this wrist guard is a separate piece. It looks like it's molded on. So I don't understand why they didn't just paint it. And if you look on the box art, let me grab that real quick. And granted, I understand the art will be this is a studio model, but it has those straps painted, and you can see the the uh, skirt has a little bit more of a paint job, and the calf straps are painted. So I get that was probably, you know, a studio model, but it's still, I can't think of a good reason as to why you wouldn't do it. He's also got the uh, typical Predator Sharp claws, so that's pretty neat. Now, as we go down here, you can see he's got the skirt in a soft plastic like the dreadlocks, but it has all this nice scaly hide texture and cloth, so... This figure is not lacking on details. And uh, the legs have the same black, uh, dark green scales that, uh, I guess these are still scales even though they're, they're kind of vents on the side in red paint. Oh, I forgot to mention, you got your, uh, your stereotypical like bladed gauntlet on one arm and a slightly different design on the other gauntlet. So it's pretty neat to have a little bit of variety. And he's wearing these copper boots, but as you can notice the straps there, the strap there, and the two straps there are not painted. Again, I know I harp about it a lot, but I just don't understand why it's a deal breaker. Probably not, but it'd have been nice to have it done. Now, uh, accessories wise, he comes with the plasma caster on his shoulder, which I think every there's two other predators in this in the seven inch line. There is if I can get it under here, guys. So there is let's do it this way. There is this is Berserker. That is the jungle predator and the city predator. So the predator from the first movie, second movie, and this is the predator from um the Predator. I know it's confusing to so see have Predator, Predator 2, and The Predator. I, I don't know why they named them that way. And I have looked online and I thought this was just like weird gray paint for his skin, but it's it's like his active camouflage is cutting on and off. So that makes that one a much more enticing pickup than what I thought it initially was. Because when I went to Walmart, they just had this one. But as I was going to say, he comes with the the plasma caster right there on the shoulder and in the packaging he has the plasma bazooka which is just a bigger plasma caster but if you look on the box here the way, and the way it appears is that you also get the uh, combi stick electro claw and smart disc but in actuality, those come with the other figures. I think Jungle Hunter has the Electro Claw, and City Hunter has the Smart Disc and Combi Stick. Now, granted, did I see it in the shell when I opened it? No, but I, don't know, I feel like that's a little misleading. But you can take that or leave that for whatever you feel on that. Uh, but to swap out weapons, it's pretty easy. Now, sorry guys, I have to go up here because it's a bit tight, but. You pop that off, your little ball joint there, and then you put the other one on. I've done it a couple times, so I think it's loose enough. And there you have your plasma bazooka. Got all sorts of nice little details in this metallic silver. And I'm pretty sure that I don't have the other predators yet to say. I'm pretty sure you can swap out the casters on everybody. So if you had all three of the seven inch figures you could probably just put all the weapons on one no reason you couldn't 
Now let's go over points of articulation pretty quick. Uh, the box says 25 points of articulation. I feel like that's pretty accurate. Um, the head's on a ball joint. It can go up a smidgen, down a smidgen, and then side to side a reasonable amount. But because of the uh, dreadlocks and the shoulder mounted weapon, that's a little bit limited. And if you've had some long haired figures, pretty standard. Uh, the arms will come up about 90 degrees from the body. The elbow will bend forward about 45 and back a little bit, but I don't know why you'd use that. And I think part of that reason is how the plastic there is molded. It sort of limits it from going like a full 45, but you know, you got a little bit of movement there. And the wrists, unlike most figures nowadays, are just a swivel. They don't really have a hinge right there so he can curl his hand up. Super big deal, probably not, but just noticing differences between that and like Marvel uh, Legends figures and the Mattel Elite line. Uh, he also doesn't have an ab crutch, unlike most figures nowadays, but the way the body sits into the waist, he's got that much back, that much forward, and you can see about that much side to side, so about the same, just he could bend over and back a little further with the ab crunch. I don't really miss it. Uh, the legs, I think, are on ball joints, but because of the uh, skirt, it can only go up about that far, or out, up about 45, and back about that much, and it's just because of even with the uh, softer plastic for the skirt, it does limit mobility some. It's just sort of how the clothes are going to affect it. The knee bends the usual amount. And, of course, doesn't bend back much. And the ankles, swivel 360, go down pretty good if you can get those joints to line up just so. And if you can... Pull it in essence, pull the ankle back and up. The foot to flex up pretty good and has reasonable side to side motion. So, overall, you know, pretty good articulation. He's not going to be doing any high kicks or anything, but you don't need him to. Now, with all that in mind, this is a pickup or a pass figure, and the weird thing is, is I'm pretty sure when I got this at Walmart, and I could be mistaken, I think I paid under 20 bucks for it. I think it was like 14 And uh, going to look online, these things were up to 25, 20 25 to upwards of like $35 for the individual figures. And if you're not a big Predator fan, and I'm not sure how much the more collector predator figures run i haven't really dove into that like co collecting sphere yet i just saw this at walmart for a good price and thought it'd be a great pickup but i feel like at 30 35 dollars there are better figures with more articulation if you were really penny pinching your collecting cost now that being said you can pick like all three of them up on auctions on ebay for like 50 to 60 bucks that's more like $20 a figure that's not so bad or uh, there is a I guess box set with the 12 inch giant predator uh, berserker and the city hunter that's going on like walmart.com for like $35 I think shipped that would make it easily worth it because that's like what $10 a little over $10 a figure more than worth it so I'm sorry I can't give you guys a more definitive answer I mean if he came with all the the uh, the accessories that were on the back of the box that might would tilt it a little bit more for either way get it but it just it's just one of those figures that depends on the price and where you can pick it up and I haven't seen them restocked in the Walmart because I think last time I went if I'd have seen 
well, for sure the city predator, but if I hadn't seen the jungle predator, I might would have gotten them. So, you're going to kind of have to make your own choice on your hobby dollar there, unfortunately. But anyway, guys, there's the review on him. Overall, 7 inches, really happy with him. Uh, but thank you for spending time with me. Check out the company reading an article that will have some pictures that might show some of these details in a little bit of a better light. Sorry, I'm trying a new setup. I might need to get a cloth for the table. Pause on all the social medias if you have this video or the other ones in the line. Tell me what you think about them, and I'll catch you next week, guys. Peace.